And I could have struck for blessing as a gift. And the gift that I have is that I'm able, believe it or not, it sounds strange. I'm able to see spiritual beings. Listen carefully. And would you believe it that Mamish, the whole room now, I see is Mamish filled with, with spiritual beings, with souls, with shamans. The whole entire room. Sounds crazy. Now the most amazing thing is that you have the same gift. Because the neshamas that I see, you see. And it's the neshamas sitting next to you, to your right and to your left. And it's all the souls that are sitting on all these chairs, at all these desks. Not much spiritual beings, not people, souls, neshamas. Because without neshamas, I hate to say, but this room is like a cemetery in a sense. Without neshamas, just bodies. We're not just bodies, we're souls. And that's what I'd like to train myself, and I hope that you'll join me in training ourselves to primarily see souls when we look at another person. You recognize they're a little bit of a container for a spark of Hashem. You look into their eyes and you see there's life, there's vitality. We're alive, ruchni. We're totally spiritual, we're angels. Connected with bodies. The whole room is full of spirituality. It's not a far out concept, it's life. It's knowledge life, it's here now. It's life. I want to tell you, I know that you know this already, I'm reminding you, enemy. Life matters. Life really, genuinely matters. Not just in 30 years, and not just when everything works out, and not just when you have some ideal of the life that you'll live, and then it will be the real thing. Every split second of life matters, no matter who you are, no matter what you're struggling with, no matter what your challenges are, no matter how weird you think you are, no matter how normal you think you are. Life, every split second matters, because we're not guaranteed the next second. So Mamela, if I'm not guaranteed that I'm going to take the next breath, and the breath that I'm taking now matters a whole lot. I'll call Nishima and Nishima Ta'alukach, as I'll say. Every breath we take, we have to use that for a reason. We were sent here on a mission. We're not just happened to be alive in 2023 from Orthodox Jews because our parents were, and they were because their grandparents were, and so on. No. We're on a trans-historical mission, each and every one of us, who were given a gift and we're asked to pass it forward. Every single second of life, we're here to create, out of the same world that the rest of humanity experiences, to create a new mitzvah, to create a new reality, and that's what me and you to do. Every single second matters, we're soldiers. What is that new reality? Nothing changes. The only thing that changes is our perception. If we can live life, regular life, like everybody else lives, but with consciousness, with focus, being aware of the ruchness of everything that we do, everything that we do, the good things, and Chas Roshalom also, the confusing things, and the places where we search for holiness, and we search in the wrong places. Where every circumstance in life, everything you're going through, big as you're going through it, is a lichat as you are. And what you're asked to do in that mindset is to take the next right step for you. Not someone else's next right step, your next right step. And for that, it was worth the whole world coming into, into existence. However unremarkable you think you are. This is our mission. So we're going to sing the next song, Shiva Kama And what we're attempting to do, using the tool of music now, is to tap into that part of us where the MS were alive, pulsing by calories running through every particle of your physical body. It's a joke. You're alive. You're in a shine. You're a spiritual being. Let's pour that out before our Kodesh Baruch Hu, who is the Neshama of the world, which means but the same way that you look in the mirror and you see a body, but you could also see a soul, you can look at the world and see a world, or you can manage to see the revelation of Hashem. Let's connect with that. It's the same world, but it can be a whole other world, depending on how we choose to see it. Jamila.